Hello everybody, Tyler here. Today we're going to do an Ascendant Obelisk Guide. I'm going to do my very best to give you guys the information you need to tackle this dungeon. So let's get right into it. First I'd like to tell you about my team. In the front we have Maria as our leader, in the middle we have Robin Hood, and in the back we have Darth The most important thing about this team is actually having a way of generating blocks. So in the front with Maria, she has the ability to generate blocks for herself. Over here we have Energy of Goddess. She immediately creates two leaders block and increase leaders SP by 15 and we want to generate more blocks because it'll give us the ability to use Sarah more often and that's where the next part of this fight comes into play the most important thing about this fight here is having Sarah as your goddess she protects allies by creating a shield the shield absorbs 100% damage for the first second and for the next second we absorb 50% damage this is so important because there's actually one skill that can destroy your whole team and it's very tricky to look out for so uh, let's talk about obelisks damaging skills obelisk has a wide range of skills and I'd like to tell you about just a few key skills to look out for the first skill I'd like to tell you about is the stun attack first obelisk will look into the sky and he will charge at you and it will stun your team for a few seconds this skill does not do very much damage and it's important to have your team strong enough to take this hit. The next ability is Obelisk's Flame Breath. He'll look into the sky, take a deep breath, and then blow fire all over your team. It's very important to block this with Sarah because it can do quite a bit of damage. This ability will always come after the stun attack. The third and most devastating ability to look out for is Obelisk's Earthquake. This is a very important move to block and it's why we use Sarah because without blocking this move, your team will be wiped out in one hit. The earthquake may be unpredictable at first, but there are a few key things to look out for. First, Obelisk will always use this earthquake attack after he uses his flame breath. Next, in order to see this move, Obelisk will look into the sky multiple times. It's either twice or three times. In order to block the first earthquake, Obelisk will always look into the sky twice. After that, he looks into the sky three times before using his earthquake move. After that, it's a little bit fishy from there. I don't know if it's, I've, I've been in fights where it's been two looks into the sky and I've been in fights where it's been three looks into the sky for the third earthquake. It's safe to start blocking after every two looks into the sky. Um, you don't want this fight to last very long because over time obelisk will get much stronger, but you can be sure that obelisk will look into the sky twice at for, for his first, earth, first earthquake and he'll look into the sky three times for his second earthquake. Those are the most important skills to look out for when fighting Obelisk. He has a few more skills that are involved but I, uh, I ignore that when I play this dungeon. So the game plan is this, when we first enter the dungeon we'll use as many two and three block combos as we can to build up Sarah's charges. He will start with a stun attack and follow that up with a flame attack. We're going to uh, do our best to block this if we have enough charges to spare or if your team is strong enough you can take this damage and save that charge for another uh, flame breath later on. Uh, after the flame breath he'll look up into the sky twice and use his earthquake and this pattern will repeat. He will use his stun attack followed by a flame breath and then he'll look into the sky three times. After that uh, the pattern still repeats but it's a little bit confusing for me to determine when it's two or three looks into the sky so after that it's safe to say that you'll want to use Sarah every time after that on the second look. And to show you what I mean I'll, I'll uh, enter a dungeon and we'll give it a try. Alright so I managed to pair myself with a friend we have Leon Mew and Solid Snake. Let's go ahead and enter this game. The plan is to build up as many uh, Sarah charges as we can before that first flame breath. Uh, my team I think is strong enough to take that first flame breath in case I don't manage to build that one up. There we go. There's the stun attack. That one is okay to take. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna block this one. I don't feel safe. One, two. I had enough to block on that second look into the sky. There's that charge attack. After this, I think it's just three looks into the sky. 
There's the flame breath. One, two, three. Block that one. All right. Definitely have to block the next flame breath here. Flame breath. Three looks into the sky. One, two. Two. Flame breath. Three looks into the sky this time. Flame breath, we block that one. One, two. Two looks in the sky. This guy's getting really strong. Block the flame breath. One, two, three. Block that one. Okay. Obelisk taken down. It took, it, it, it seemed to me rather random between two and three looks into the sky. It's really hard to predict that. I think that has to do, has to relate to uh, the bubble, the type of bubble he's using. I think the counter attack pulls that ability out faster. All right, so I managed to pair myself with a bot. We have Susano, Mew, and Archon. Let's get on this fight. This is the second fight. And I have extra stamina, so I'd like to show you another fight. First, we're going to focus on building our Sarah's ability by chaining a bunch of attacks together. Let's see, we'll do that one. We'll take the first hit, that's the stun. Next is the flame breath. And I think we'll have enough to block this one here. Two looks into the sky. There's the second one. I don't, I'm not sure if I managed to take that one, to block that in time. Let's see. Next will be the flame breath. Here we go. Three looks into the sky after this. One, two, three. Block. Still an attack. Flame breath, we want to block for sure. And I think it's a random chance between two and three. I'll do it on two. Here we go. Stun attack. One, flame breath here. Whoa. One, two, block. Turned out to be the third one that time. Still in this fight, almost done. Block the flame breath, and the fight's over. So it, it, it hopefully this gives you more information on what comes after that flame breath, whether it's two looks into the sky or three looks into the sky. Once again, I think it's related to the shield. Um, hopefully this doesn't bug out and I get my prize, but that's the second fight for you guys. Oh, here we go. Those are my prizes. <laughs> All right, so this is the Ascended Obelisk Guide. If you like what you see, please click, click on the subscribe button below or visit crusadersquest.com to see any information that you need. I'm going to be posting guides on that website as well. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your time, and I hope that this video has given you more information on how to tackle Ascended Obelisk. See you guys.